The plane took off from Buffalo Narrows and tried to turn around before crashing. The pilot was Ray Gran, a World War II veteran. His wife was six months pregnant. Their daughter, Linda, would never meet her dad. In 1959, there was a search. Articles from the time say five aircrafts looked for the men. The lake was dragged. A diver also searched, but the plane was never found. Last year, Lena Capusta, the pilot's daughter, ran into an old friend that mentioned sonar technology. This gave them hope they could solve the decades-old mystery. On their first day, the group got lucky, and there on the screen was a sonar image of the plane. They contacted the RCMP, who then told passenger Harold Thompson's family it was found. Arlene Marr, Thompson's younger sister, was ecstatic the plane was found, just to have closure. She always held out hope her brother had gotten out. I thought many a times I saw Harold, um, and I kept on looking because he was a healthy, grabbing guy. But we, we missed him. Glad that they're, um, you know, I've always looked because there's so many Harold Thompsons. I was at home and everybody rushed to the north. I bet I manned the, the phone, which was on the wall at the time. Uh, my girlfriends of that came over to help me, comfort me, and we waited and waited for results, and we got it now. <laughs> Next, the RCMP assessed whether or not they could dive to recover remains. Their assessment showed it would be unsafe to dive, and thus they're not going to. Originally, the hope was to recover the pilot's remains, and now their special meaning. About 10 hours after finding the aircraft, uh, we got news that Linda's mom had passed, so she never got the news after you know, 59 years of waiting. We didn't tell her before, like we visited with her in Saskatoon, um, but we didn't want to tell her before in case we didn't find the aircraft because it's been so long and we didn't want to get her hopes up. The family isn't commenting on what they'll do next. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Regina.